Hello everyone, welcome to the Power BI course. Today we are going to learn about how to combine multiple tables in a single table in Power Query Editor. Um, so we are going to learn about the types of the combine uh, tables and uh, what is the importance of feature and how we can do it. Okay, so there are two types of combine as you can see um, in this picture. Uh, one kind is append. So when you have a multiple tables which has a same number of columns and same number of uh, sorry same um, names of those columns uh, but the only data part is different. Okay in that case you can append them and you can see in this picture uh, of the appended uh, tables so number of columns are going to remain same but the table will get a longer in terms of rows so you are going to keep adding rows of other tables in a single table okay so that is append and other type uh, of combine is merge um, so you can see in this picture that we have two tables and uh, one table has a two column id and price and then second table has a three columns id store and location uh, and let's say if you wanted to merge or combine this table then you're going to use a merge option so merge options gives you a higher number of columns after merge okay and you need at least one column which is matching in both tables so in this case id column is matching in both tables and then remaining columns of the table, uh, both tables, uh, is going to uh, add uh, or it's going to, you can select them actually that what columns you want and you can leave it in a merge table. Okay. So, and how we can do it? I'm just going to show it in Power BI. Okay. So let's get started in Power BI. So here I am on uh, in Power BI uh, home tab and my data file is in Excel. So I'm going to get the data by clicking Excel and this clean and transform data that is my file. So open. I have multi multiple worksheets in this uh, file and so I'm going to select uh, first two files for append uh, tables. Okay. So those two files are this sales January and sales February. Okay. And you can see in a preview that it has a four columns and uh, both uh, files has identical column numbers and column names. Okay. So four columns again. So I'm going to click on transform data. So it will bring me to a uh, power query. Okay, so here we are in a Power Query and you can see here I have two queries, Sales January and Sales February. And in a Sales January, we have four columns and 22 rows. And in a Sales February, we have four columns and 19 rows. Okay, so I'm going to select the first file and from the Home tab, if you come here to the Combine section, then you have an option to append queries. So I click on that. I have first option is append queries and the second option is append queries as new. So I, I always use this because this one is going to append the data in an existing file, which I don't want. I want my existing files are untouched. Okay. So I'm going to create append file as new. So, and then in this append window, if you have two tables, then default is okay. If you have more than two tables, then you can select the three or more tables. Now for me, I'm going to select the second table. So February and January and okay. Okay. So now we have appended data file. You can rename it if you want. And um, there is a four columns and 41 rows in it. So we know that one file had 22 rows, January and the February had 19 rows. So 22 plus 19, 41 rows in appended table. Okay. So this is as, it, as easy uh, as you can see. 
and now we are going to call few more files and we will learn about merge okay so i'm going to click on from home tab new query new source and i'm going to click again of excel okay and again i'm going to open the same file okay so from navigator window then i'm going to select this product inventory and product vendor okay and i'm going to select okay okay so we have both files open here you can see in a product inventory we have three columns product id product name and quantity okay so currently we have this product in our inventory and with this quantity okay and in a second table we have again a three columns product id business entity id so our vendors id and vendor name okay so you can see that we have uh, we have a matching column is our product id in both tables okay now again in product inventory we have 10 entries so 10 products and in a product vendor table we have nine entries nine uh, products okay so let's get start here uh, merging and I just select the first file product inventory and from the home tab again a combined section and I have option merge queries and again I have merge queries or merge queries as new so I'm going to select merge queries as new because I want it in new file okay so as we selected here product inventory you can see product inventory is selected I select now product ID because I know that is the matching column and I'm going to select a second table product vendor here okay and again a product ID so we have two two tables here and the matching column is selected now the third step is we need to select the join kind so i wanted to bring you to the presentation slide again and here so uh it, it shows here the table joins types okay and these are the six types of joins available in power bi okay so let's just quickly look at that so um, here is the left outer join so you can see here that a and b these are two tables and left outer join what it does that left hand side table all rows selected from that table and then it uh, gives you a matching uh, uh, rows from the b table as well so that will be outcome of left outer join if you uh, use that kind of join to merge your tables okay and then there is another um, uh, join type is right outer join which gives exactly opposite of this so it it takes all rows from the b table or the right side table and then only matching rows from the left hand side table okay then there is a full outer join which gives all rows from both tables then there is an inner join which gives only matching rows from both tables okay then the fifth type is left anti join meaning it takes all rows from left table or in this case a table and then exclude the rows which are matching to the b table okay and then the lastly it's a right anti join which is, which takes the right side table all rows and then exclude the uh, matching rows um, exclude the matching rows from the left hand side table okay so now you have a kind of idea that these results we can get after merging according like depends on what you choose okay so come back here again to the power query and we have first option is our left outer which is all from the first all from first table and then matching from the second so we know that our, our first table has a 10 entries and our vendor table has a nine entries you can see here message from the uh, power bi that the selection matches nine of 10 rows from the first table okay so I'm going to click OK. We are expecting here 10 rows 
because all 10 rows in first table and then matching rows which is 9 from this table. So we are expecting here 10 rows in a merge table with have a one row will not have a vendor data in it. Okay, so let's click OK. And here is our merge table and as we expected we have 10 rows and uh, if I expand this product vendor table and we need only vendor name I'm going to uncheck this so I don't need a, uh, the table name as a prefix so uncheck and OK OK so as we expected we have 10 rows here and this product BBB3 that is not available in vendor table and that's why we have null okay all other nine products are matching with the vendor table and that's why we are getting a vendor names from that table okay so uh, this is a left outer join now let me show you other joins as well so from this applied steps i'm going to click on the source so it can bring me to back to the win merge window so yeah, and our merge window is open again as we selected first table with product ID, second table with product ID and left outer join. Now we are going to test the second one, right outer join. Okay, you can see here that the, that the message is changed now. The selection matches 9 out of 9 rows of the second table. So right outer is all from the second table vendor table which is nine entries and then matching from the first which is again a nine entries so what we are expecting here a nine rows in a merge table okay so let's click okay and here we have a nine entries and if i expand this product vendor then i'm only need i only need a vendor name and okay uh, it's asking me to insert again that uh, expanded step because we already done that so okay and as we can see that we have nine entries here uh, and all entries has that vendor name so this time it's right outer is looking to merge from the right hand side or the second table side so vendor table which has a nine entries okay so this is a left outer and right outer i'm going to continue with uh, with this uh, merge uh, or the combined data video uh, in a second part as well because i wanted to show you a lot more let me click on the source and i can show you so i'm going to show you more kind of joins so other four full outer inner left nt and right nt and then i wanted to discuss about this fuzzy matching option as well okay so um this is uh, all about in this video uh, with the t uh, append and two uh, kind of merge we are going to continue um, discussing this merge um, options and fuzzy matching in the next video so thanks for watching guys and if you like the content then please like comment share and subscribe my channel and see you in the next video thank you